Hello students, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will solve problem of bank column cash book or double column cash book. In double column cash book, you will find two amount column. One to record cash transaction of the business and one to record the bank transaction of the business. So two different column you will find in double column cash book. Let's see the problem number one. From the following transaction, prepare double column cash book. Here they have given certain transaction for the month of September 2017. So the first transaction is on September 1st, bank balance is rupees 42,000 and on the same day, cash balance is rupees 15,000. So this bank balance and cash balance we will take on the receipt side of the double column cash book so let's prepare the double column cash book or bank column cash book yes heading cash book left side of the cash book is called debit side and the right side of the cash book is called credit side and the columns are date receipt lf that is ledger folio cash amount bank amount okay Whatever the information they have provided in the problem, cash transaction you have to record in this column and bank transaction you have to record in bank column. And the credit side columns are date, payments, LF, cash, bank. Okay, in double column cash book, you will find two amount column. One to record cash transactions of the business and one to record banking transaction of the business debit side you have to record receipts or incomes of the business and credit side you have to record the payments or the expenses of the business so bank balance and cash balance we will take on the receipt side or the debit side of the cash book. so we'll write first date 2017 september 1 so the bank balance and cash balance will write balance brought down and the amount is cash balance amount is 15,000. So in cash column write 15,000 and the bank balance is 42,000. Cash balance you will write in cash column and the bank balance you will write in bank column. Got this first transaction bank balance or cash balance you have to write Receipt side, balance brought down and amount in particular column. Next transaction is September 4th, purchase goods by check. Here, the goods are purchased by issuing check. So, this is a bank transaction because the goods are purchased by issuing check. The payment is made in check for purchasing the goods. Purchases where will take on the credit side. Yes, purchases is the expenses of the business. They have made payment for purchasing the goods. And this payment is made in check. So this is a bank transaction. Got? Purchases is a expenses. So we'll take on the payment side. And the amount you will record in bank column. Because the payments are made in Check. So, this is a bank transaction, banking transaction. So, we'll take on credit side of the cash book. First, write the date September 4, 2017. Purchases. In payments column, write purchases. And amount in which column you will write? In bank column and not in cash column. Bank column and the amount is 12,000. Cash transaction you have to record in cash column and bank transaction like issued check, received check, all these things you will record in bank column. Got this point? Next one is September 8th. Sale of goods for cash. Sales, sales generates the income. So sales where you will take? Sales and yield to criteria, receipts or payment, receipt. By selling the goods, it generates income to the business. So sales, we will take debit side of the cash book. 
listed celebrity on 8th September sales. Okay. Sales, district sale to call beko, but the purchases and the payment side to call beko. Amount where you will write? In cash column. Because the goods are sold for cash. So write here in cash column, amount 6,000. On 13th September, purchased machinery by check. Purchased machinery, where you will take? Payment side. Purchased machinery is a payment. So write here on 13th September, machinery. For asset, you have to write the name of that asset. Machinery. And this machinery is purchased by check. So the amount where you will write in which column? Bank column. In bank column write 5500. On September 16, goods sold and received check rupees 4500. Sales the six side. On 16 September, but it is sales. Amount is received in check. So we will write in bank column 4000. 500. On September 17, purchased goods from Mira in cash. Purchases, it is the expenses. So, payment side will write on 17 September, payment column purchases. And these goods are purchased from Mira on which basis? Cash basis. So, in cash column, write amount 17,400. Like this, we have to record all these transactions in cash book. On September 20th, purchased stationery by check. Purchase stationery, it is a expenses. So payment side right on 20th September, stationery. And the amount in bank column 1100. September 24th, check given to Rohit. Check given to Rohit, it is a payment. So, payment said right. To whom? This check is given to Rohit. So, right here in payment column, Rohit. And amount, which column is right? Bank column. Amount 1500. On 27th September, Cash withdrawn from bank rupees 10,000. Cash withdrawn from bank. What is the general entry for this transaction? Cash account debited to bank account. So cash comes into the business. So in cash book, we will write on 27th September bank. And the amount you will write in cash column 10,000. And payment side you will write on 27th. In payments column cash and amount you will write in bank. For cash it is a receipt and for bank it is a payment. Cash book debit side will write to bank and the amount in cash column 10,000. And for bank it is a payment. So payment side will write on 27th September cash and amount you will write in bank column rupees 10,000 and this type of entry is called contra entry. Next entry is on September 30th rent paid by check. Rent it is the expenses so we'll take payment side on 30th September rent and this rent is paid in check in bank column right amount 2,500. And the last transaction on 30th September, paid salary. Salary is a expenses, payment. So, payment side will write 30th September salary. Here they have not mentioned that, that salary is paid in cash or check. So, we will think that the salary is paid in cash. So, in cash column, write amount 3,500. All the transactions are over. Now add the debit set, cash column. First we'll add the cash column. 15,000 plus 6,000 plus 10,000. 
add these three figures and you will get the total 31,000. Add bank column 42,000 plus 4,500 and the total is 46,500. Same amount you will write credit side. In cash column 31,000, bank column 46,500. In cash column from 31,000 minus 17,400 minus 3,500. Okay, from this 31,000 minus 17,400 and 3,500. And you will get the difference amount 10,100. Bank column from 46,500 minus 12,000, 5,500, 1,100, 1,500, 10,000 and 2,500 minus all these figures. And you will get the difference amount 13,900. In cash column, the difference amount is 10,100 and in bank, 13,900. To this difference, we will write balance carried down. Same amount will be brought down to the next one. Receipts column write on October 1st, balance brought down. Take this balance amount. Cash balance amount is 10,100. And the bank balance amount is 13,900. In my next video, we will sort previous year midterm exam paper. Hope you like the video. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you students.